hi guys welcome back to my channel kukwa to see my machine so today's video will be a story time of when my friend actually tried to paint me and she kind of succeeded because i actually was going along not knowing what was going on but yeah you guys we figured out everything that happened throughout the story time but before we get started if it's your first time checking out my channel make sure you subscribe 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 is free and also make sure you comment down below if you ever had a friend that did this to you or a pushy friend or a friend that's just all over the place like this friend and i will be mentioning a name caroline that's not really her real name if you guys don't know i make up names on my story time but it will be the same caroline i talked about on my friend trying to steal my fiance it is the same girl so yeah we go way back the girl and i that's why i have a couple of you know story time with her in it and if it's not your first time of seeing this face thank you so much for coming back and thank you for the support make sure you also subscribe if you haven't and make sure you turn on your notification bell on because once you subscribe that doesn't mean your notification is on therefore you will not get my um notification often as if you would have if you have turned your notification bell on thank you now let's get started <laughs> like i said it's gonna be called caroline she's a friend that we did so many things together you know we discovered so many things together since we have been friends for a while so yeah in this story time she had a date with an older man like you guys know i mentioned the fact that she loves older men like she like loves like she's kind of like a gold digger or a sugar baby because like she did like she like dating older men that have you know money so they can you know spoil her but that's none of my business. I don't judge. I don't, you know, knock her hustle. That's her thing. And I remember at times when she would be doing this, you know, sugar baby or gold digger moves, she would sometimes have like a boyfriend, you know? So she would do that like as her like side thing, like her side, you know, those older men are like her side thing, but she would have her main, like main, main, main nigga, you know? So that, that was the type of person she was. But prior to her being in a relationship, she would always be messing with older men so it's not like because she's in a relationship the guy don't do this she'll go with older men she had always been doing that you get what i'm saying like that was her thing anyways she had a date i would say with an older man and he was living in germantown not far from where i used to live so she wanted to come over and sleep over so she can you know take that time to go to the date and come back to my house so she didn't have to drive all the way to pg county because like i said she lived all the way to pg county and it's pretty far and her date i'm calling it date like this because it was like the guy invited her over his apartment and he was just gonna cook and then buy drinks so for her and him so that was that was the date that's why i'm going like this because it wasn't really a date so her date was supposed to be at 12 midnight okay like freaking midnight because the guy told her that he had things to do after work so he was gonna be home around 12 so he told her he would get home and hit her up so since she was you know around the area in Germantown where I used to live um, she would just drive to him right so that was the original plan so I lived in Germantown at that time and she asked me if she could come and spend the night so in my head i'm like sure like first she didn't tell me she had a date or nothing she said i said sure yeah of course you can come over so she said okay i'm on my way so she came it was like around 10 p.m that she arrived at my house and then i was like okay you know so what are we gonna do i'm gonna watch a movie da, da, da. she was like oh no girl i got some tea for you i'm like what's good then she's telling me oh you know the guy i told you i met at the suya place you know the african restaurant you know we call it suya place because it says you are there but yeah Remember the guy I met there? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh yeah, he told me to come over around 12. I'm like, girl, midnight? That's so late, isn't it? And then she was like, yeah, I know, right? But he got off work late. She was like, you know, he's a lawyer. Mind you, I told you guys she's a sugar baby or the gold digger, however you want to call it. She was like, you know, he's a lawyer, so he got work late this that the third and stuff like that so i was like okay i'll make sure you know my phone is charged and next to me when you go on your date just in case i end up falling asleep you can easily call me and i wake up because mind you i don't i'm not a deep sleeper and then she's like well what are you gonna be doing i'm like girl i'm home i'm about to sleep when you leave i'll just give you my keys you can get back in the house so it's not a problem she was like please can you come with me so i'm like dang i really wanted to say no like 
But then I was like, I'm tired and stuff like that. I didn't want to just say, no, I don't want to go. But I was like, I'm tired. I don't feel like going and stuff. And then she was like, please, please, please. So I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, no, I'm tired. I didn't want to say, no, I just don't want to go. But I was like, I was making the excuse that I was tired. I said, oh, I'm tired. It's going to be midnight. I want to sleep and stuff like that. So she begged, like, I'm the type of friend, like, when you pressured me too much, sometimes I just end up saying yes. So she begged, begged, and she knew that because, you know, she knew me for years. So she begged me to the point that I was like, you know what, okay, I'll go with you. And then she was like, thank you. Next, you know, 11.30 hit, she's like, we have to get ready. So I'm like, okay. So, like, girl, I just hopped in the shower quickly in there, right back out. I just threw on anything. I don't remember what I had on that day. I threw on anything. I was like, okay, I'm ready. Her too, you know, she did the same thing because I showered at my mom's in my mom's room and showered in my bathroom. So... We were ready by 12, like, yeah, 12, we were ready. So we decided to go. And then on my on our way there, she tells me, it wasn't far from my, my house, it was like about 10 minutes. So on our way there, she proceeds to tell me one of his friends is going to be there. Mind you, I was already dating Jordan, so I was like, what? She was like, yeah, one of his friends is going to be there. So I'm like, oh, sorry, my eye itch. So she was like, yeah, one of his friends is going to be there. So I'm like, huh? For who? For what? Like, girl, I was thinking about just sitting there waiting for it to be done and then we can bounce. So I wasn't expecting nobody there. And what is the friend there for? Like, really? And then she was like, come on, you just got to entertain him. I said, how? <laughs> like, I'm not a clown, honey. Like, how? And then she was like, oh just laugh with him just a little conversation if you ask for a number it's okay you can give it to him but you're gonna block him later so in my head i'm like man we're already on our way like there's not really anything i can do at this point so i was like you know i can't do that you know i'm in a relationship she was like but then you're not gonna talk to him you're just gonna block the number so i'm like oh my gosh like i hate being in those type of situations so i was like oh no i don't want to do this caroline like i don't want to do this like please like please 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 tell his friend to leave i don't want to do this she was like well she can't really say that so i'm like okay mind you like i said it was like about 10 minutes away from my house so boom we got there i got out of the car she gets out of the car she calls the man he comes and picks us outside this was a grown grown man like i'm talking about grown hitting 50s grown and we were in our i was probably like 19 she was like 20 because she was like a year older than me girl girl or boy whoever is watching this like i was scared because when i saw those men i'm like because i watch the news sometimes and you know people that do things to others and i was scared you know i don't know what was gonna happen to me but girl i was young and dumb now i can't let my friend take me any hell like that so yeah good thing i grew up and i learned my lesson but back to the story so like i said the guy came out the man came out the grown man came out in fact and got us you know outside from the parking lot and he walked us to his apartment so we got to the apartment the place was filthy first of all dirty like i can understand that if it was a, like i don't know if it was a real lawyer or not, or not that's why he told her but as a lawyer i understand that you have a lot of paperwork and files but the thing was like all over the place like how can you even like sort it out in my head i was like how can he even so sort all this out like it was so messy it was just bad like i was like uh-uh no nah. but i didn't want to say anything i was just like I went boom sat down at that time no friend was there it was just him so i sat down on the couch because he told us to sit down I sat on the couch and then she sat right next to me and he sat on you know because you know there's always a big couch and like a small lo love seat couch he sat there and her and i sat on the big couch and then he told her to join him on the love seat so she was like no it's okay i'm fine and stuff like that so he was like, okay let me get the food on the table so he served us and stuff like that i'm not about to lie i was scared to eat but then again i was hungry so i ate the food and then he bought wine and stuff like that i drank the wine please do not drink on the edge do not do that okay do not do it so we're drinking and then next you know we hear a knock and then he's like who is this obviously he freaking know who he was and then his friend said oh yeah it's me open the door so he opened the door the friend got in you know you know hugged us like hi 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 we say hi to him and then he sat right next to me so in my head now i'm going crazy in my head i'm like so why is he sitting next to me like i feel like this was playing you probably think i do what this girl does like first of all no 
And then he started talking to me, how are you? And stuff like that, because I was already done eating. I just was just drinking. He was like, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. Then my friend Caroline and the guy, like the older man that, you know, that she came for, go in the room. And now they're leaving me in the living room with the guy, the man's friend. So I'm sitting here like, wow. Like, in my head, I'm like, really? And then she was like, um, while they were walking away, she was like, we're not going to be long. Like, in my head, I'm like, girl, I don't give a sh You know, I don't care. Like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I just want to go home. That's what I was saying in my head. But I was just like, oh, okay, because I didn't want to ruin her friend. I was like, mm, okay. And then she, they went in the room. The guy proceeds to take his, his arm and put it around me. I just went like this, you know, like someone put the arm, I just went like, and then he took it off, he was like, man, come on, put it again. So I'm sitting here like, this man, I don't want to hit nobody because I told him to take it off the first time when I was like, mm -hmm. and he put it back and I'm like, mm -hmm. like, can't you tell I don't want you to touch me and stuff like that. Like sometimes, man, these grown men just need to chill and he could have been like in his forties. He wasn't as old like he as the man that has the house he wasn't as old as him but he could have been like late 30s hitting the 40s so he was like man what's going on you know what's wrong and stuff like that I'm like nothing is wrong but i just don't feel like being touched and then at that time i had my promise ring that jordan got me so he was like i see you got a ring i'm like yeah he said are you engaged are you married i'm like no that's my promise ring for my boyfriend she's like what he's like where is he I say he's home and then he's like oh okay so he let you come out this late I'm like I, <laughs> I didn't plan to be out this late but he knows he knows who I am because I did text Jordan on our way there I talked to him because me I'm pretty scared in my head like I think so crazy so I sent I told my friend to send me the address and I sent it to Jordan so he knows where I am and I told him I was gonna explain to him the next day because he was pretty late already so boom the neighbors are making noise so yeah, um, the guy was telling me, oh, okay, um, so you're here for some fun too? I'm, in my head, I'm like, um, no. But I told him, I was like, no. But in my head, I'm like, heck no, you know? And then he was like, but your friend is. I'm like, that's my friend, not me. Like, I don't care what she's here for. And then he was like, so yeah, I'm just not going to come and get your money. So in my head, I'm like, what freaking money? Like, so I was like, mm, money? But in my head, I'm like, what freaking money? But I told him first, I was like, money he's like yeah you know your friend is gonna get some some cash for my for my mans and you can also get some but you hear acting shy and acting like the good girlfriend i'm like first of all this is when like the road just land that was talking in the head came out i was like first of all i'm a good girlfriend very good one secondly i did not even plan to be here i didn't even want to be here and thirdly you are too old for me like i was so blunt i was like you are too old for me can you leave me alone i could be the age of your daughter like leave me alone and then he got like kind of like what like he couldn't believe i could say some stuff like he was like all right all right like it wasn't even that serious he got up and sat on the next chair like a bit farther from me where the love seat because he was first sitting on the couch with me he joined me on the couch but when he came in he was sitting on the couch next to me and then when i got that angry he went and sat on the love seat so he was a bit further away from me at this point so i was like and I didn't mean to be rude, but I'm just being honest. I don't like to feel disrespected. And he was like, it's okay, I understand. And the TV was on, mind you. So we just both started watching TV because there was a movie that, I don't know what movie it was. We just both started watching TV. I started falling asleep because it was like, at this time it was probably like 1.30, like 1.30 in the morning and I'm tired. So I was starting to fall asleep like, and then he was like, you okay, you need a blanket? I'm like, no, I don't need a blanket. So I took my phone, texted my friend. I said, um, you need to hurry up because I'm about to go home. I'm tired. And then she's like, how are you going to get home? Like, I'm waiting for you, obviously, because she knew I didn't have a car. I didn't have a way home and stuff like that. She was like, exactly my point. So I'm saying, like, are you being smart? Like, I was like, what do you mean exactly your point? She was like, I know you need me to go home. So you just have to give me some time. Just be patient. Have fun with, you know, the friend. I don't know why you are rushing me. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, wow have fun with the friend i have no fun to do with the friend so i just told her i said there's no fun for me to do with the friend i'm not here for no friend i told you already i'm in a serious relationship there is no way i'm doing this there is no way because her too she was in a relationship by the way she was a girlfriend like somebody's girlfriend so i'm like 
I'm in a very serious one just because I didn't want to make her feel like she's in a bad relationship but I told her so I'm in a very serious one I don't know about hers maybe it was just a regular relationship but I was like I'm in a very serious relationship so I do not want to do this this is not me and stuff like that and I kept texting her I don't know what they were doing in there she told me what they were doing afterwards but I don't even want to bring it out here because this is disgusting you guys can already think about it ew so I was just texting her blowing phone I guess she got tired she was like, okay, 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 I'm coming. She took like about 10 minutes. I guess they were wrapping stuff up. And then they wrapped it up. She met me out, you know, in the living room. She was like, okay, ready? I just got up, grabbed my bag, put on my shoe. I said, yep, I am. And then as we left, the guy was like, bye. You still haven't given me your number. I said, you will never have it. Bye. And I just walked out. And I told bye to the old man too. I said, bye. And then he was like, see you next time. And I said... I just kept on moving <laughs> like I literally said and I kept on moving and then we left and then the car she had the audacity to be like I guess you don't want no money look at how much she gave me and she like took right out she took out one hundred dollars I'm like so you did all this for a hundred dollars like you're gonna tell me you went in that room what happened in that room and then she started telling me she said they did like sexual things but no penetration was involved so I'm like, okay, and she, I'm like, and just for $100, like, that's disgusting. She's like, no, he, he said he didn't have enough cash, so he only gave me 100 but when I come back tomorrow, he's going to give me the remaining 50 I'm like, first of all, I got to tell you this, tomorrow you're coming back alone. Secondly, when I tell my boyfriend what happened tonight, he's never going to be happy with you or I, so I don't want to. She's like, but Jordan don't have to know. But I, was like, I, I tell everything to Jordan. That's my best friend. Before I even think about how he would judge me as a boyfriend, I tell him because, like, he's my best friend, so I would tell him. So she was like, oh, go ahead and tell him, but I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. She was like, oh, but then again, the friend was going to give you some cash too. I said, I don't want that type of cash. She saw that I was so mad, so she took $50 out of the $100 that she had and handed it to me. She was like, okay, here's your share. So I took the money. We got home. I just I just went to bed. I just said goodnight. And then, you know, I just went to bed. And the next day, she went to his place by herself. And then after that, she went home because she only came for one night. So that was it and I never went anywhere on any date that she has or meet any person with her again because that was my lesson. That was it for me and yeah. Thank you guys for watching this story time. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to once again comment down below if you have any friend that's pretty pushy or that's like my friend Caroline or my ex friend Caroline because she's not my friend anymore. And yeah, we'll chat in the comments. Make sure you also Follow me on my social media platform, that's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. You'll be here on the screen and the description box down below for your convenience. Make sure you like this video and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video for you guys. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.